with you how to make scrapbook paper, painty paper, whatever you want to call it, uh, with store-bought stamps. Because I think that even me, I was very... Uh, I didn't know how to use them in such a way to actually make something uh, nice that I would actually like. So this paper, um, I made two different ones on one bigger paper. Uh, so let's say A3. I made this with homemade stamps and now I would like to show you how to make with store-bought stamps. So this is a magazine and I already pre-painted this. I was thinking to make two pages as well uh, so you can see different um, techniques if I can call it like that. I'm gonna make two scrapbook papers um, this one is thinner, this one is thicker. I have a variety of stamps that I want to use. So these are my uh, acrylic blocks and I have this set of flowers and then I have more like this. Um, and I think I'm gonna start with this one. So I have something small in, to, to put in between and something bigger. And I think I'm gonna use this flower, this rose. I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna make one try. I'm gonna start on this one. I'm going to put randomly, let's say three this way, and then I'm going to turn and do three this way, and then I'm going to turn again and do three. Three is the best way to do it. And you can see where you have the space when you're turning around your page. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn it again, and let's do here. I'm gonna go off the page. That's good, so it looks better. I should put another one, right? Um, here. I'm thinking to do here, just partial stamping around. So it looks like one page. Let me just stamp this off. I don't really clean my stamps. Well, sometimes, but usually I don't. I just wipe it with a cloth or something. Okay, I'm gonna put that back. Okay, I'm gonna take from the other set. Just let me open it. I'm going to take this could go oh this or this this or this probably I'm gonna start with this and then I'm gonna go um, smaller I hope you can see what I'm picking up I'll try to stamp it on something so I can see how it looks like yeah it's very clean okay so I think I'm gonna do three as well in each direction. Wow, I really like it already. Where else? Where should I put it? I'm gonna put it like this. Okay, so the next one that I'm gonna use is something smaller. Let's find it. I'm gonna put this back. Something smaller. Maybe this one. Still think it's gonna go fine. Oh, I put it on the wrong side. Wow. Try out. Yeah, that looks nice, I think. And I'm gonna start with, let's say I'm gonna turn it like this. And try to do three.
You can turn it however you want. I think it started to getting really busy. I'm gonna let it dry completely. Um, probably it's dry, but I'm just gonna move on. I was thinking about either this or this set. Um, hmm, maybe we should do the set. So I got this at, let's say, dollar store, and um, the stamps they were uh, when I pressed it down, the edges were on the paper no matter how lightly I pressed so I was thinking I should get a um, this flower I like this flower maybe hearts maybe I should cut them uh, like the edges what else should I use maybe this flower okay three stamps I'm going to stamp hearts um, let's say five times because the stamp is smaller so one, two, three, four, five, and then I am turning it and again five times. This is um, Valentine's themed, I guess, even though it's not in common red colors, but it's still hearts and you can use it for a greeting card or for a postcard. You can leave it like this. Um, just stamp it and use it as it is because it's still pretty nice you can add more color to the flowers or just shimmer or whatever and, you know i think i'm gonna make some flowers here and there and that is pretty much full i think okay this is all finished Good idea would be to actually um, let it dry and scan it and then print it um, if you like what you made. Um, I'm not sure that glittery stuff is gonna show on the scanner. Um, so maybe if you use just something like this and then um, you can even color it in Photoshop or just modify it however you would love. I really love it like it is though um my pants uh maybe pink yeah i found pink just dot in the middle for some reason they're very streaky which i don't like because i cannot write with them but i can use them for small things like this because they are bright uh they sit on top of the paint on top of the paper they don't soak in at least not with this one. For the ones that they have a block when they want to doodle, this is the best way to actually um, make nice paper and doodle around them. And you don't need to be neat. You don't need to um, think, oh, this is not going to go together. Just put it on try it out see how you feel so you can use all the gel pens you have for this kind of painty papers i'm gonna heat it up a little bit so i think i'm gonna try to use some colored pencils let's say red blue Because the paint is matte, homemade gesso is matte, you can basically use any medium on top of it. I know a lot of people don't use old simple uh, color pencils, but they are great. Let's do this one. I really like it. Oh gosh. And you make yourself 
basically a coloring page which you can use in anything in projects not just to have it stored somewhere or you know you can use it and you can use it you can scan it and use it all over again if you like it I think I'm gonna scan this one because I'm curious how that is gonna look and uh, I hope you're gonna try it because it looks amazing I think um, just cheap coloring pencils they're great for this stuff um, I think they even work better here than on paper Uh, you can really use whatever you have and you don't need to buy so much supply. You can do a lot of art with just with just simple stuff. Like you get um, five different colors of acrylic paint, um, homemade gesso like mine, and um, you can do a lot of art and just coloring pencils and some gel pen like one dollar I mean just simple stuff and you can get amazing results and this this beautiful thing on just on junk you know that's what amazes me I hope to bring as much ideas as I can think of oh can I raise that yeah great I can erase it too. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm so excited. Sorry. <laughs> but I'm I'm really excited because I very much like um I never tried it though, um coloring with pencils. So I'm thinking what should I do? Should I just stop or should I put more pink? I'm just gonna color the center. I'm impressed because I don't think that I have a page like this. This is probably the first one that is so um, nice. I'm going to finish this uh, coloring with pink and then I'm going to start to look what I, what I can do with the other one that we made. Yeah, I really think it looks gorgeous by the way. This is so gorgeous. Um, really, it is. So, this one is finished, let's say, and uh, I think it's finished, I'm not gonna do anything to it. And I'm going to put um, acrylic paint and gesso on this side and every next page. And I'm gonna leave it together so I can just shuffle when I need nice paper. Um, therefore, I'm gonna have a scrapbooking booklet. So that's it. Let's move on to the first one. I'm going to use some red and just put it aside inside and color it. Oh my god, this is gonna look amazing. I can already see it. I think I'm going to color each, uh, every, every rose in this position red. The leaves should be green, right? Just inside the lines, quickly I'm coloring. I'm not paying much attention. I can um, I can erase it, so that's good if I go out of the lines and I don't like it. So I'm going to finish this page. We'll see how much time it's gonna take me to finish. Um, right now I'm like here. And this is the result. I'm going to take pictures and put it on at the end of the video I really love it this is just uh, coloring pencils nothing else okay this is the second one 
So this is how you make scrapbook paper from junk. Um, I hope you liked the video and you're gonna try it at home as well. Make beautiful scrapbook paper and please share the video to the people that want to um, make them. I'm going to scan this too and if anybody wants them in PDF just let me know in comments and I can put it uh, in the description below um, so you can download and print it out and use it in anything you would like. Guys have a great day! Bye!